All right. Thank you so much for good evening, guys. Thank you so much for being on time. Congratulations. Very good. Very good. I like the ones. Uh, let me congratulate the ones that are on time, you know, at eight o'clock. OK, so very good. Uh, first of the first, guys, uh, we're not going to waste uh, much time. All right. Let's go ahead and double check our motivation um, part. And let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking at this moment. OK, give me one second, please. But first, let me just um, uh, mention, you know, the parameters, right? So remember that we need to, we need to, I mean, you need to be aware. I don't know if you're aware about that, si usted sabe, está sabedor, but I need to let you know, necesito hacerle saber, I need to let you know about the things that our um, coordinators are being, you know, placing or texting so far through our WhatsApp group, right? So remember, platform needs to be completed. No matter if we if we haven't checked it all uh, the all, the whole topics, but if you already complete them, that's okay, all right? So we need to have the eighty percent, and remember your cameras needs to be on, all right? So as long as you have your camera activated activated or on, your uh, how do you call this? Um, let me see, I forgot this word, but the the system is going to count that you that you being here the whole class if you have your your camera on. If you place your camera, if you turn your camera off, it's like a, you never been in classes, all right? Usted como que nunca estuvo en clases, ¿verdad? Nunca estado en clases y le va a tomar un porcentaje bien bajo, okay? So let's repeat everybody. First uh, first of all, good evening, everyone. Uh, let's repeat motivation. Come on, let's go. Motivation, let's go. Motivation. 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 Very good, very good, very good. excellent, excellent. Now, um, I don't know why you guys are happy, right? But I wonder why you guys are kind of kind of happy. I don't know, but I believe you get you you get paid today today, right? Or maybe you you will get paid tomorrow. So that's the reason that that we are kind of happy, right? Because uh, we have um, we have a uh, money to pay our debts, all right? So that's why. Okay, one more time, motivation. Let's go, motivation. Motivation. motivation motivation excellent excellent very good all right so let me read this uh lovely quote uh tonight and then we are going to repeat it you know together okay so let me read it first the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you by bb king all right can i see by bb king anyone can tell me by bb king Como por, ¿verdad? O escrito por, ¿verdad? Sí. By B.B. King. Ese es como el quien, lo, quien escribió esa, ese pensamiento. Acuérdese. Ahí no dice by porque no sé por qué razón no lo pusieron, pero usted, en teoría, usted tiene que saber que le hace falta el by. B.Y. B.S. and boy. ¿Ok? So, uh, one more time. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. All right, let's repeat it, everybody. The, 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 beautiful, the beautiful thing, thing, thing about, about learning, about learning, is, about that learning is that, that, that no one can take away, away, away from you. From you. you. Away. Away. away for you. Away. All right, let me, read, let me read it, and then you follow me, okay? So lo voy a leer hasta donde dice a uh, thing about learning. Okay, hasta ahí lo voy a leer y después lo repite y después repito yo. Is that no one can take it away from you. Y después repite eso otra vez, ¿verdad? Para que se oiga un poco ordenado. The beautiful thing about learning is... The beautiful, the beautiful thing, thing about learning, learning is... Thing about is that no one can take it away from you. Excellent, excellent. All right. So, what did that mean, guys? All right. So, la cosa, let me tell you this in Spanish, right? I like to uh, explain that this motivation uh, section in Spanish because uh, you will get, you know, what I'm trying to transmit and you will get the, the, the whole message. All right. So, usted va a agarrar lo que le quiero transmitir y va a agarrar, eh, valga la redundancia, va a tomar todo el mensaje. La cosa más bonita del aprendizaje es que nadie se lo puede quitar o, que, o nadie se lo puede eh, ya quitar de usted, ¿verdad? Nadie lo puede te, te, quitárselo a usted. La cosa más bonita acerca del aprendizaje es que nadie o ninguno puede, puede ponerlo lejos 
de usted. ¿Por qué razón? Dígame, eh, Joao, go ahead. Es, estoy eh, en la traducción, yo. Eh, excelente. Perdón excelente. que me interrumpa. Y excelente. dice, según la traducción, dice: Lo hermoso de aprender es que nadie te lo puede quitar. Excelente. excelente. Qué buena frase. Very good. Compártala ahí en el, en el chat, uh, mi estimado Tucayo. Con gusto, con gusto. Very good, very good. You see? No one, no one can take. Can you repeat that one more time, Joao, uh, if you don't mind? Sí. Dice, lo hermoso de aprender es que nadie te lo puede quitar. Imagínense, nobody can take it away from you. Nobody, nobody, nobody. If you learn tonight a little bit, no one, nobody, nothing around nobody, you know, with um, the, the breath, you know, is going to take away what you learn, what you are going to learn tonight, okay? Very good, very good. All right, so, como ejemplo, acuérdense de que esto nos, nos queda todo, ¿verdad? Que la, lo más lindo, lo más bonito del aprendizaje, nadie se lo va a poder quitar. O sea, eso se queda en su corazón, en su cabecita. And a good point that I like from this group is that you guys are understanding faster. Why? Because uh, I see that you guys express better and better and better. I'm not saying that you didn't learn nothing, you know, previously, because that's the reason that you are talking better in my class all right but i need to double check quick details all right because we need to fill some gaps that are going to help us to complete our expressions our ways to talk in a better way okay so very good right on my class let's double check and we're going to review um probably i mean not the same topic but we're going to review uh, again the same uh, objective that we checked last last night, all right? So it's a, it says like this. In this session, participants will, will learn and practice the pronunciation of can't of, of can and shouldn't to sound natural when speaking, all right? So, Joao, please read that for me. Yeah. Oh, this in the session, in the session participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can or shall. Shut up. The sound natural when speaking. All right, speaking, let's, let's repeat everybody. Shouldn't. 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 Very good. I uh, can't. Can. Can. Excellent, 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 excellent. All right, so en esta clase aprenderán a practicar la, la pronunciación de can and shouldn't, right? Para sonar natural cuando hablen en inglés. All right, so uh, let's go back uh, to our platform. Give me one second. Let's see, we are here. And let's see, let me check. I believe you guys already checked this uh, exercises. All right, and it says like this, right? Uh, let's see, Rosa Playtest, read this for me, if you don't mind, this uh, instruction. Go ahead. Listen to practice. This is sentence, nothing. How, uh, how about the T? In Kent and shoulder. Sho it's not a story pronounce it repeat the audio programs as many times as you need to all right let's see uh, uh maria del carmen please read that for me listen and practice this Statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. Repeat the audio program as many times as you need to. All right. So the next person that I'm going to ask to read this, remember that you need to pay attention how our uh, classmates are participating, are pronounced. Uh, you need to pay attention how they are expressing themselves right when they are talking when they are reading this uh instructions all right let me read it for you listen and practice these statements notice how the t and can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced repeat the audio program as many times as you need to 
All right, so, si lo que dice ahí dice, escuche y practique las siguientes oraciones. Escuche, escuche cómo la T en can't and shouldn't no se pronuncian con fuerza. Repita el audio tantas veces como usted lo necesite, ¿ok? Entonces, usted no va a decir, canta. No, no va a decir can't, ni, ni can't, no, can't, can't, shouldn't, shouldn't. All right, so, let me see who... Wrote me here, teacher. Mi oñita está fallando, más que acaba de empezar a llover fuerte aquí en mi colonia. Soy Iris Vanessa. Ok, no se preocupe, Iris. Ok, so incorpórese cuando pueda. Comuníquele eso a, la, a su coordinadora, please. Eh, quiero ver quién más. O sea, yo, lo, ok, thank you. All right, so vamos a escuchar este audio. Vamos a poner atención. Pronunciation: can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. All right, one more time. Let's, re uh, let's uh, listen again. Hold on. I guess. Okay. 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 Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. All right, guys. Uh, if, as you can hear, all right, so you, I don't know if you, if you uh, catch the idea or if you already know how to pronounce can't and shouldn't, all right? It's not shouldn't, shouldn't, all right? Como que la L la, casi la eliminamos. Y terminamos con la T, ¿verdad? Dice, shouldn't, shouldn't, all right, shouldn't, all right, so very good, very good. Uh, do you have questions about this, uh, learn, I mean, this uh, practice that we just did? All right, so do you guys understood what the, the pronunciation or what, what the, the exercise says about it? ¿Entendieron cuáles fueron los, uh, las oraciones que dijo la, la, la colega? Al pronunciar can't and shouldn't, yes, yes, uh, understood. Okay, understood. Very good. All right. Try to use that word when I ask you something. No, don't get me wrong, right? Si yo le, si alguien le dice, uh, do you, uh, do you guys uh, comprehend this part? Usted dice, yes, understood, entendido, understood. All right. Why? Because a ese punto usted empieza a utilizar lo que es el pasado de los verbos, all right? So, porque a veces solo nos quedamos estancados, ¿verdad? En los, en los verbos eh, primarios, que puede ser más que todo el simple present. Y por eso a veces nosotros estamos, estamos a uh, mí, a uh, mí, uh, uh, y, y estamos con esas muletillas, ¿ok? I, I, want, I want you to you guys to start using uh, those, uh, those verbs that need to have, you know, no translation, needs to have, you know, the right the right tense, all right, the right uh, time, all right, so if I ask you, Jose Arminio, uh, Jose, what do you, what do you do before you come out of classes tonight, what do you do, what would be your answer? I went to the, oh, sorry, yes, I went yes. to the, yes. I went to take the dinner. Excellent, very good, oh, very good, see, so why you did ask, why you did answer me, you know, and passive is because I did ask you, right, with the auxiliary did, all right? And I like that. I like that point. You need to be, um, how do you call this? You need to catch, you need to catch the, the words in the air, you know? Like, uh, como que dijéramos, tú tienes que agarrar las palabras en el aire, right? So, o sea, usted tiene que estar atento, ¿verdad? Como les están hablando, all right? Very good. Excellent. All right, let's see. Uh, vamos a preguntarle... Who else is here? I don't know, but I'd like to ask many questions. All right, let's see. Just a moment. 
uh, Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Hernandez. All right, tell me what do you do? What do you do uh, tonight before you come to classes? Jenny, are you there? Okay, Jenny's not here. Uh, what about, let's see, uh, Laura Virginia? What do you do? All right, guys, remember, I want you to you guys participate in classes because that's part of the, you know, the evaluation. Yes, Virginia, go ahead. Uh, excuse me. What do you do before you come to classes tonight? What do you do? Ah, okay. He tenido bastante inconveniente en, en la señal. Eh, ya, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Hace reporte de que estoy en una zona donde está cuesta bastante. Hay veces se me cierra la sesión. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now answer my question. What do you do after you come to classes in English? Please. What did you do? Uh, lo que me acaba what, de decir. Yes, what did you do? Uh -huh. What did you do? What like, did you do? Like this. What did you do before you before? come before you come to classes? Like this. All right. If you don't know, no, no worries, no worries, all right? So, okay. but the thing is, yo solo quiero darle un, un consejo para que usted aproveche al máximo. Que, ¿Qué va a hacer después? No. Quiero que me ponga atención. Yo sé que ya tenemos problemitas con el internet porque a mí se me, se me fue la luz, la energía eléctrica antes de empezar la clase y lo reporté, pero el momento vino, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que le sugiero como estudiante, mi estimado, mi estimada, este, primero es participación, ¿verdad? Si tiene la cámara apagada, acuérdese de que tiene que ser por una justa razón. Mándesela al coordinador porque yo no puedo hacer nada en lo absoluto, ¿verdad? Yo le puedo decir, sí, eh, usted anda en el hospital, usted se le arruinó el internet, usted, cualquier problema. Yo le puedo decir que sí, pero quien se encarga de todo el proceso para que le tomen consideración es los coordinadores, ¿ok? Son los coordinadores. Segundo, si usted, porque no quiere tener la cámara encendida, y, pero está ahí y no quiere participar, créame de que se le va a hacer bien difícil el aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Entonces, para el resto que está poniendo atención y está partic queriendo participar, le sugiero que no solamente en mi clase, tiene que ser en todas, que pongan atención, porque, vaya, yo le hice la pregunta a Herminio, y él me contestó, me contestó, me, a Mr. José me contestó apropiadamente, le dije, what do you do before you come to classes? And he told me, I, I I went or I went uh, and have a dinner with my family. Creo que así me dijo. All right. I went to, to, to the kitchen and I have a I have a dinner. Así me dijo, ¿verdad? I went to take a, a dinner. I went to take a dinner. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. I went to take a dinner. All right. So if you pay attention, if you if we pay attention, what Mr. Uh, Jose says or answers, you will be able to answer as well. Pero si usted es, está en la cámara aquí, perdón, estaba eh, por algo de motivo, solo está escuchando, tiene que poner atención. Este solamente es un consejo, no es regaño, acuérdese. Es un consejo para que agarremos la idea que estamos concretando, ¿ok? So, now, let's see. Vamos a pasar al siguiente. Thank you very much, uh, Virginia. Let's see. All right, let's see. All right, we're going to double check some information related to uh health uh, situation all right so repeat health 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 health, health. all right health. 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 very good yeah. very good so far so good let's see vamos a ver uh patricia alfaro if you are able could you please read this uh, instruction for me please all right Okay, okay. This section you will level vocabulary common field problems and with a list of two conversations where they need work with practice. All right, guys. Okay, let's repeat vocabulary. 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 Conversation. 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 Words. Conversation. 
Horse. Camen. 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 No camen. No camen. 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 Health. 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 Remember T T H at the end. Health. All right. Health. 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 All right. So very good. Very good. So far, so good. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's see. He dice aquí, en esta clase, en esta clase escucharán vocabulario relacionado con problemas comunes de salud. Luego escucharán una conversación donde se pondrán en práctica el vocabulario nuevo. All right, dice, in this session you will learn vocabulary for common health problems as well as listen to a conversation where these new words will be practiced. Okay, so let's see. Hello everyone, welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. All right, one more time. Let me play this video again, just to make sure. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, stomachache, a cold, a cough the flu, insomnia. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. All right, guys, uh, before we continue with this, uh, with this uh, lovely topic that I'm going to explain in a, in, a, in a little bit, all right? So let me ask you first, uh, let me tell you, are we clear with shouldn't, with should, with cool, with couldn't, with can, and can't. Estamos claros with those uh, modal verbs. Do you have any questions so far? Remember, eh, sh todo lo que hemos venido practicando son modal verbs, right? So what that means, that you will use them in some situations that you need to be polite, all right? So now this new topic that is, you know, health problems or problemas de salud, what it comes to your mind, or qué cree que ustedes que va a utilizar en estos problemas de salud? Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a. Uh, pero antes de continuar, estamos claros con lo, con lo que les acabo de preguntar. Mándeme un like, un thumbs up. Si usted está claro con el can, can't, cool, couldn't, should, shouldn't, and what else? Yes. Everybody, everybody, solo Jose, veo ahí que me levantó la mano. Everybody is all set. Everybody is clear with that. It's not, it's not, I mean, if you practice, you will learn. You will, I mean, you will, you will uh, use those uh, terms or those parameters, those, uh, uh, no herramientas, those grammar points every time that you need it. All right. Because if I said, Jose, uh, let's see, déjeme ver que veo uh, en, su, en su cuarto, en su, en su background. Disculpe que sea medio curioso, yeah. ¿verdad? Pero no le digo, yo le digo, José, you should, you should paint the, the green wall that you have in the background white because uh, sometimes I can't even see, I can't even see you. Es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Solo es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué le estoy diciendo yo a José? Que he should, he should change the color. He should paint a different color. All right. Another, another, another um, scenario. Abimael, you should have a, you know, more light because I can't even see your face. You should have more light in your camera because you look so, I mean, too dark. Usted debería tener un poco más de luz porque se, se mira muy oscuro, Abimael. Un ejemplo, ¿verdad? You should. Viene mi mail y me dice, okay, all right, not a problem, understood, all right, so, uh, Gabriel, you should, you know, uh, you should have a, 
you lights a little bit, you know, like, you know, lightly. I mean, because I can't even see your face because you look so, so bright. Le debería de bajar volumen a su, a su luz, uh, Gabriel, because usted se mira muy brillante del lado derecho o lado izquierdo. Un ejemplo. All right. So you should. All right. So we, we are clear with that, right? So uh, let's see another one. Maria. Let's see. Maria se me fue. Oh, no, Miriam. No. ¿Dónde está Maria? Okay. Se me fue otra vez. Espérame que no la veo. Okay. Maria. Maria, you should move a little bit because uh, your curtains, you know, are moving a, li a, a little bit because it looks like it's windy. Es un escenario. Nada más. Que yo le diga, Maria, se debería de mover porque sus cortinas se están moviendo y se mira como que está un poco con, como con viento, ¿verdad? Está muy así, eh, con, sí, con vientos, ¿verdad? Un poco kind of windy, ¿verdad? All right. Sonia, you should place yourself straight. Because you look, you know, you know, side by side, you know, you, o sea, yo le digo, usted debería, se, se debería sentar rectecita porque se mira de lado. You should, all right? So, and on, and on, and on, and on, all right? So, we clear with that, okay? Very good, very good. Let's continue with this part. Give me one second. Let me just stop the recurrent. I mean, the, I always say the recurrent, the, the class, all right? Let me share this with you. All right, so I send you some information tonight, right? Related to the topic that we are going to review today. Okay, let's see. One second. All right, so if you see it, everything is related. All right, so remember that we check this uh, phrase or this question, right? What should I do? Or what should I see? All right, what should I see in those places? But in this case would be, what should I do with health problems? All right, so for example, we have over here and let's repeat. What should I do? Everybody, what should I do? What should what? I do? What should I do? What, what, what should, should I, I do? do? Health problems. Health, 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 problems. health problems. Excellent. Health problems. Very good. Very good. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Salud. Uh, ¿Cómo, cómo no, barajéme bien la pregunta que no se la, no se la capté, mi estimada. ¿Cómo, cómo? El meaning de health es salud, solamente, salud. Salud, health es salud, problemas de ajá, salud. Pero, ¿Cuál es pero ajá, ¿Mm? ¿qué podría, qué podría hacer? Uh, ¿Qué puedo problema, hacer? ¿Qué podría, qué podría, ajá, qué podría hacer con, pero, con pero, problemas sí. de salud? What should I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? ¿Qué podría hacer yo con...? Ah, ¿Qué podría hacer yo con esto? Okay. Por ejemplo, usted tiene, eh, decir, este es un escenario, ¿verdad? Un familiar, vamos a ponerle un amigo, tiene un, un headache extremely hard, extremely, let's see, not crazy, I mean, tiene a big headache, tiene un terrible, a terrible headache, su amigo. Entonces, viene usted y dice, what should I do? What should I do? I don't know what to do. With my friend, he's, I mean, he, he, he might have a, a stroke or a heart attack. You don't, you don't even know, right? So, usted dice, usted está bien preocupada. What should I do? ¿Qué podría hacer con ese dolor de cabeza de mi amigo? With that terrible headache that Salvador has. All right? Ejemplo, 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 ¿verdad? Entonces viene, oh, I know, I know what I should, what, what, what I, what I do, what I can do right now. What should I do? It's I should go to the doctor. I should call the 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 nine one one. I should call my friend. I should call my parents, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So ese es el más que todo la angustia de pregunta que está aquí. Casi tipo como una pregunta angustiosa, valga la redundancia. Okay. So let's repeat. What a terrible fever! Come on, let's go. What a terrible fever! What a terrible, 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 terrible fever. fever. And that is crazy, right? When you have a fever, it's kind of like, a, oh, my goodness. I don't know if you guys uh, had a chungungunja. Uh, remember, in the past, I don't know if that's if the that, that disease happens or, I mean, that virus happens to you or do you get that virus? I had that virus like three years, no, like four years or five years ago. ¿Se acuerda cuando Dios empezó a dar ese virus? Terrible, right? El que le dio, me puede entender. Me puede entender que es andar con esa chingungunya, que no puede ni caminar uno y se siente que se va a morir. ¿Verdad? Que right. Your bones hurt, uh, hurt 
everything hurts, all right? So, I'm sorry? Exactly, exactly, all right? So, all right, let's see. The support, okay? So, let's see. It says like this, Alex, you don't look very well. Do you feel okay? So, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Sonia Pinti and Jose Herminio, okay? Alex, Sonia, John, uh, Jose Herminio. Come on, let's go. Vámonos. You don't look very well. Do you feel okay? Do you feel okay? No, I'm getting a fever. What should I do for it? You should stay at home and go to bed. You are right. I got a sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat too. You shouldn't have a cold drinks. You should take an infusion with some honey, and you'll feel better. Excellent. Let's see, Maria and Salvador. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Alex could be anyone. Okay, go ahead. Maria, Alex, and Salvador John. Come on, let's go. You don't look very well. Do you feel okay? No, I'm getting a fever. What should I do for it? You should stay at home and go to the bed. You're right. I've got a sore throat too. You should have cold drinks. You should take an infusion with some honey and you'll feel better. better. Okay, very good. Let's repeat everybody. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. One more time. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better. And let's repeat honey. 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 Así como usted le dice a su esposa, ¿verdad? Y a su esposo. Honey. ¿Verdad? O sea, así le dice a su esposa. Honey. Honey. Dulzura, oh. miel, ¿verdad? Honey. Honey. Come on. Oh, All right. Honey. Sin miedo, sin miedo. Cuando usted mire una palabra, Honey. dele a como usted crea conveniente, Honey. sí. Pero acuérdese que por eso estamos en la clase viendo cómo se pronuncia Honey. correctamente, ¿verdad? Pero no se quede así como, um, que, no, I'm getting, aunque lo diga con doble T, pero I'm getting a fever. Getting All right. Fever. So let's go. Now, Gabriel and Amalia. Gabriel, Alex, Amalia, John, come, come on, let's go. You don't look very well. Do you feel okay? No, I get a fever. What should I do for it? You should stay at home and go to bed. You are right. If God has sore throat too. You shouldn't have cold drinks. You should take an infusion with some honey and you'll feel better. Very good, very good. Okay, so first, so good. Avimael and Tomas. Okay, Tomas, Alex, Avimael, John. Come on, let's go. You don't look very well. Do you feel okay? No, I am getting a fever. What should I do for it? You should stay at home and go to bed. You're right. I'll go a uh, sore throat too. You shouldn't have cold drink. You should take an infusion with some honey and you'll feel better. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see, uh, Elizabeth and Rosa, please. Rosa, please, uh, Alex and Elizabeth, John. Come on, let's go. You don't look very well. Do you feel okay? No. I'm getting a fever. Fever. That's sure. What? Fever. Fever. What should I do for it? You should stay at hot home and go to the bed. You're right. We'll go a sore heart too. You shouldn't have cold drink. You should take an infusion with some honey and you feel better. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see who want, who, want, who else want to participate. 
anybody wants uh, to participate, raise your hand. All right. So, so otherwise we pass to the next exercise. Okay. So nobody else. All right. So let's repeat everybody. A sword trot. 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 All right. Talk to me. Talk to me, please. Talk to me and say, me, teacher, me, Mr. Escamilla, I want to participate. No tenga miedo. Joao, go ahead. Joao, ¿y quién más quiere participar? Okay. Joao and... Bienvenido. Okay, go ahead. Joao, Alex, you. and John, okay. the next one. Go ahead. It don't look very well. Do you feel okay? No. Okay, okay. No se le escucha nada, mi estimado. Eh, no le iba a colaborar, don José. Es que él levantó la mano también. Ok, anyone, anyone. Participe el que pueda. Ok. Eh, no, I am getting a fever. What should I... You should, you should stay at home and go to bed. You're right. I've got a sore throat too. You shouldn't. How how cold drink? You should take an infusion with some honey, and you'll feel better. Excellent. Let's repeat everybody. Infusion. 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 Excellent. All right. So as you can see, guys, we are applying shoe and shouldn't right shoe and shouldn't all right so if you see we are using you know the those uh, model verbs you know and uh regular scenarios right so normal scenarios okay so very good very good okay let's see let's repeat everybody uh a sore throat sore throat all right so como dolor de garganta verdad es como uh, no laringitis ni faringitis, eso es diferente. Es otro es como así que dolor de garganta o que le, le, le piensa que le va a dar tos, ¿verdad? Pero tiene así. Eh. Ahí sí me puede ayudar con la traducción para estar, uh, to make sure. All right, so I'll be more than happy and welcome. What it means? What it means, Joao? Dice un dolor de garganta. Dolor de garganta, sore throat. Okay, very good. Garganta. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Does, your, does this uh, read the conversation to answer the questions? Does John feel okay? What's the matter with him? What should he do? Stay at home, call a doctor, eat ice cream. Number four, should he have a cold drinks? All right, and number one, so everybody, these questions are for everybody. Does John feel okay? No. No. No, no, he no, doesn't. No, no he, he doesn't. doesn't. No, he doesn't. Excellent, no, he doesn't. excellent. No, he doesn't. Remember, all right, acuérdese que si usted me contesta, así como no, yes, es como que me está haciendo, eh, como usted ya es nativo, no, no es que sea nativo, sino que usted ya tiene bien plasmado el inglés, usted me está contestando así como que, uh, que quiere saber si, es, si ella, o sea, ya sabe. ¿Para qué pregunta? Entonces, pero el right answer, el right answer is, no, he doesn't. Because my question was, does John feel okay? No, he doesn't. So my second question for everybody, what's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? Anybody can answer? What's the matter with him? ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Qué le pasa a él? He's le... got a fever. He got a fever. Okay. Very good. So, yeah. num number three. What should he do? Letter, letter A, letter B, or letter C? Stay at home, call a doctor, or eat ice cream? Stay at home. Stay at home. Pero nosotros, los buenos, los buenos salvadoreños, somos bien especiales, ¿verdad? Que dicen... Com no, comámonos un, comámonos un sorbete, dice, ¿verdad? Para que se, si el, el, el helado le va a ayudar y, y se mete, se mete tres sorbetes y, y asunto arreglado. Así somos, ¿verdad? Pero, what would be the, the right answer? Stay at home, call a, call a doctor or 
eat ice cream? Call a doctor. Call a doctor. Call a doctor, right? And and after that, the doctor probably is gonna give you is gonna give him a medical leave. In the meantime, the doctor is gonna give him a medical leave, right? Es como le va a dar una incapacidad, okay? So number four, should he have cold drinks? Should he have cold drinks? Oh, well, he... He... No, he shouldn't. No, no, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. Excellent. No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't have cold drinks. Excellent. Very good. Se da cuenta. So that's the reason that we need to pay attention and be focused all the time. All right. So al principio, yo sé que le cuesta a uno que a veces uno se le queda viendo a la boca a la persona que se le está hablando en inglés, ¿verdad? Digamos, cuando lo tiene en vivo. Le dice, ¿qué, ¿qué está hablando? ¿Qué está hablando? Ya me va a preguntar. Pero usted rápido capta, ¿verdad? Should he have a cold drinks? No, he shouldn't. Y yo le pregunto, why? Why, Rosa? Why he shouldn't have cold drinks? Why? Tell me a, a quick and precise, concise question. Why he shouldn't have cold drinks? What would be your answer? ¿Cuál sería uh, su respuesta? Because. Because. Uh, and yes. He... Because, because he is sick. No, don't get complicated, all right? No se complique. Acuérdense <laughs> que la, 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 las respuestas tienen que ser más que todo, sí, com, eh, completas, <laughs> pero a la vez tienen que ser eh, precisas y concisas. Precise and concise. Repeat, precise and concise. Precise, precise, precise and concise. Precise and concise. Precise and concise. All the time, you need to have that word, that particular answers in your mind and your heart. This right. So, if I do ask, should he have, should he have cold drinks? No, he shouldn't. Y vengo yo de 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 Mac y le digo, why he shouldn't? Because he is sick. All right. He has. I mean, he has a sore throat. All right. He should go to the doctor. That's it. Very good. Excellent. All right. So, miren las respuestas. No, he doesn't. He is getting a fever and sore throat. You see? Number three, he should stay at home. Entonces, aquí fallamos, mire. Porque de acuerdo a lo, a lo que vimos acá, está aquí, ¿verdad? You're right. I gotta go. I, I got a sore throat, too. You should have a cold drink. You should take an infusion with some honey and you feel better. Pero aquí le dice, you should stay at home and go to bed. All right. Una, un dolor de garganta, una, una fiebre, creo yo que se puede mantener, ¿verdad? Por eso le dijo eso. Pero las respuestas están aquí. He should stay at home, pero call a doctor would be a good idea too, all right? So, no, he shouldn't. No, should not. No, he should not. Acuérdense que puede contestar contractado o de forma regular. Okay, very good. Let's see. Vamos a ver. All right, the structure would be like this, all right? So Pero remember. Que no era la... Dígame. Dígame. Es que, yo, lo, es que lo que pasa es que yo entendí que usted me preguntaba. No, es que yo le hice es una que pregunta. Lo que yo le... pensé es que usted me estaba preguntando por qué no podía. Exacto. O sea. Exacto, exacto. ¿Por qué no podía? Okay, que... Ajá, ¿por qué no podía tomar? <coughs> La respuesta, la primera pregunta fue esta. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Should he have a cold drinks? Esa era fue la pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces la respuesta. Okay. Ajá. Ajá. Aquí está la pregunta. Should he have cold drinks? Entonces la respuesta Ajá. es no, he shouldn't. Pero como esto es parcialmente, tal vez monótono, más bien a. Uh, corto, ¿Verdad? Que usted de aquí puede arrancar mucha conversación, pero como a mí me gusta preguntar y saber más las cosas, que, que por qué no puede, ¿Verdad? Yo quiero saber, ¿Verdad? Quiero saber por qué no puede. O sea, no es que yo me lo haya, o sea, sí me lo, 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 no me, me lo inventé, pero relacionado al tema, que no está aquí. ¿Sí me explico? All right, la respuesta solamente es no, he shouldn't, o no, he should not. Viene cualquier persona, independientemente sea mi persona o usted o otro, 
qué sé yo, y le dice, why he shouldn't, why, tell me why, y viene usted enojada y me dice, o sea, en su mente me, usted dice que no, no está viendo que casi está muriendo el hombre o la mujer, ¿verdad? No, because he is sick, ¿verdad? ¿Sí me explico? He is sick, all right, so he cannot do anything, y empezamos a indagar e indagar, very good. Excellent. All right, this is the structure, guys. I'm going, I'm going to pass it faster so you can take a look, all right, at home. I already sent you this information through your, I mean, through our WhatsApp group, all right? And this is the three forms, right? So how you can use affirmative, interrogative, and negative, right? So you can have, you know, your examples by yourself. We're going to check them out right now. All right, so, and this is here. Use these words to give correct sentences. All right, example, you have uh, you have got a cold, to stay in bed, no go out. All right, so, entonces dice, you have a cold, you, o sea, aquí está, hay que corregirlo, ¿verdad? Dice, you have got a cold, stay in bed, no go out. All right, you have a cold, you should stay in bed, but you shouldn't go out. ¿Sí? De lo... ¿Qué es lo que mira ahí aparte de should and shouldn't? De lo que hemos visto so far together, guys. Que completa Connect. para... Connectors, right? Very good, very good. Connectors, right? So, but, but, acuérdese, but, you have a call, you should stay in bed, all right? But you, should, you shouldn't go out, all right? So, all right? So, a veces nosotros estamos enfermos, pero nos pican los pies por ir a trabajar, ¿verdad? Y la mamá le dice... You have a call, Joao, you should stay in bed, but you shouldn't go out, please. No, Joao, no, I have to go. I have to work. I, I, I have to go and I have to work. Yeah, ya se va y se graba más el muchacho, ¿verdad? Por no hacerle caso a la mamá. Okay, very good. Let's see. No, not very good porque se va a informar, sino very good por lo que estamos haciendo, okay? So, así es como tal vez a veces nosotros manejamos las oraciones, ¿verdad? Porque no las contra, no las estructuramos correctamente. Entonces, ¿qué decimos? You have a cold, tú tienes un resfriado, te deberías de quedar en la cama, pero tú no deberías de salir al mismo tiempo, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Entonces, pasemos al siguiente. Stomach, have infusion, not eat too much. All right, so let's, let's repeat, stomach. Stomach. Having an infusion, no eat too much. Having infusion, no eat too much. So, ya sabemos que es una infusion, right? Ya sabemos, ya lo vimos acá. All right. Le dice, you shouldn't have a cold drinks. You should take an infusion with home honey and you feel better. All right. So. Por ejemplo, a veces le dicen a uno, tomate una cucharada de, 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 de miel con limón, ¿verdad? Y solo dale unas una, dos cucharadas y ya vas a ver que te vas a sentir bien. Remedios caseros, ¿verdad? All right, so that's what we have, that's what we're checking right now over here. All right, so if you see, guys, everything is related. Todo está relacionado a lo que hemos venido verificando before. Connectors, conjunctions, uh, modal verbs. What else? What else uh, we already checked? ¿Qué más chequeamos? Conjunctions. Conjunctions, all right. So, short rat. See a doctor, don't not take cold drinks. Repeat, short rat. Short rat. See a doctor. See a doctor. Not take cold drinks. Not take cold drinks. Excellent. Back egg. Back kick. Back kick. Back kick. Back kick. Back kick. Back kick. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's see. I just want to make sure the right pronunciation, all right? Remember, translator tool needs to be activated all the time, all right? All right, so all the time, all right? So look at this. Back kick. Back kick, all right? We did it good, all right? Backache. Repeat, backache. 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 All right, very good, very good. Estamos viendo lo mismo? Backache. Yeah, backache. backache. Have rest. Have rest. Have rest. Have rest. Have rest. Have rest. Not Have rest. leave 
wait. No leave no, no, wait. Leave wait. 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 Yes, all right. So, no voy a estar levantando cosas pesadas, ¿verdad? Descanse y no levante cosas pesadas. Ok, back it. De igual manera, el back it, usted lo puede decir de esta manera. Por si no, se si le hace difícil la pronunciación, lo dice, my back hurts. My back hurts. Like this. My back hurts. Hurts. All right, my back hurts. Y el doctor le va a decir, have rest, not lift, weight. Yes, ¿quién me escribió? Gabriel, tell me. Teacher, only Hurts. one question. Uh, the <laughs> word sore throat is only one word or, or are two words uh, joined? Uh, one, let's see, sore throat, uh, two words, sore throat. Mm -hmm. Two oh, words, okay. Two words, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so very good, very good. Let's see. All right, the answers, you have a stomachache, you should have an infusion, you shouldn't eat too much. You have a sore throat. Actually, it's one word. I'm sorry. It's one word. Yes. I, my mistake. I'm sorry. It's a one word. You have a sore throat. You should see a doctor. You shouldn't take cold drinks. All right. You have a backache. You should have a you should have rest. You shouldn't leave weight. Estas serían las respuestas correctas. ¿Verdad? Las respuestas correctas. ¿Cómo usted aplicaría el should y el shouldn't? All right, so ya, ya le mandé ese, ese, ese archivo a su, ¿cómo se llama? WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, okay? Give me one second. Let me double check. Let's see. Just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. All right, let me just pass this real quick and we get back together. Yes, a moment. Oops. All right. All right. Mavimael Octavio Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you, sir. Aleida Arely Garcia Martinez. Present. Amalia Beatriz uh, Tobar de Perez. Present. Thank you. Diego Francisco Aguilera Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, sir. Elizabeth Enriqueta Rivera de Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco Armando Garcia Florentino. Francisco Armando Garcia Florentino. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Present. Thank you, Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Present. Iris Vanessa Cuellar Batres. Iris Vanessa Cuellar Batres. Yo creo que está en. Tiene problema con el internet. Okay, thank you. Isaac Adonai Tawar. Isaac Adonai Tuar. Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. J Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. Joao Mauricio Villalta Sorto. Present, sir. Thank you. Uh, Jose Herminio Ramirez Sumaya. Present. Thank you. Jose Ediberto Duran Prado. Present. Juana Ines, uh, Ines uh, Velasquez uh, Carranza. Present. Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda Hazel, Hazel Fernand Diaz. Present. Thank you, Maria del Carmen Guzman Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you Miriam Darlene Escobar Serran. Present. Miriam, Miriam Maricela Escobar Serran. Miriam Maricela Escobar Present. Serran. Present. Thank you, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present teacher. Orquid Thank you. Orquidia Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. Orquidia Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. Patricia Le Carmen Alfaro de Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esperanza Plites Martinez. Present Rosa teacher. Thank you. Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Present. Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Present. Sonia Egriselda Pinte de Mejibar. Present coach. Thank you. Uh, Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. Thomas Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. Present, mister. Thank you. Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. 
Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. All right, let's see. Let's get back on track. Give me one second. Let's see. All right, let me know if you're able to see what I'm sharing right now, okay? All right, let me make a short parenthesis, guys. Um, no sé si se ha fijado, like the way I pronounce your last names, right? Se ha fijado cómo pronuncio su, su, sus nombres. ¿Sabe por qué lo hago? No es porque yo quiera este, llevármela de, de que el gringo, ¿verdad? El, el americano, no. The thing is that when, I mean, if you go to the United States, if you go to Canada, or if you are talking with someone that has a native, or you, you are talking with a native speaker, you will hear those, I mean, those uh, last name pronunciation, like the way I'm telling you right now, okay? Y, uh, y usted, usted va a decir, oh, ahora veo por qué el mister pronunciaba el, el apellido, no decía, eh, no decía Hernández, sino que decía Hernández. All right. So, no decía Villalta, no decía Vilalta. All right. No decía Velázquez, sino que decía Velázquez. No decía Pérez, sino que decía Pérez. O sea, I'm telling, I'm giving you those options. I mean, those, uh, those, uh, those tips because you need to be ready about that. Okay. So, yes, let's go. All right. We have the answers over here. And we have another thing over here. The okay. function. All right. So let's see. Let's repeat the function. Yes. The function. The function. Should, shouldn't. Es, you know, es, es usado como un advice, all right? Yo le estoy advirtiendo, ¿verdad? Le estoy advirtiendo. You should, I mean, you shouldn't drink cold drinks at night. Pero es como que le digan, da tomate un, un garrafón de agua, ¿verdad? Helado. ¿Verdad? Y ya sabe de que usted está delicado de la garganta, tiene un short rat, y usted se tomó toda la pichinga de, de agua helada. Es bad una, idea. Bad idea, right? Es un advice. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Joao, don't drink cold drinks at night. You shouldn't drink cold drinks. Okay, very good. Let's see. Tengo unos mensajes aquí de quién. Uh, let's see. Susana Jaime. Yes, present teacher. Okay. Yo sé que está trabajando. Ya, ya lo, está, lo va a escuchar la coordinadora. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Should is a modal verb. Remember, eso ya lo sabemos. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at the example and do the same, right? I have a headache. You should have a rest. You shouldn't you shouldn't speak a lot. All right. So let's repeat everybody. I have a headache. I have, I have a, a headache. headache. I have a headache. You should have a rest. You should have a rest. You shouldn't speak a lot. You shouldn't speak a lot. Excellent. All right. So I have a fever. Oh, I, have I have a fever. fever. I have a fever. All right, this oh. is basically uh, an exercise, all right? I want you to you guys complete them, all right? So tomorrow I'm going to be asking you, or if you can, you can send me the answers from the previous uh, topic that we checked last night. Si usted puede, si puede, oiga bien, si puede. If you can't, try to complete the exercises from last night and the exercises from the, I mean, from tonight, all right? Email y los manda al, al WhatsApp group, okay? So I just want to make sure that you guys are working. I mean, if, if we are working together, all right? So let's see. Okay, I, I este otro ejemplo. Mira, I have a, I have a took headache. A took egg, all right? So tengo un dolor de muela, ¿verdad? A took egg, all right? So <laughs> queremos escuchar bien la pronunciación. Okay, let's rock and roll. We already know that. You know what we can do, all right? So let's see. Toothache. 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 Okay. Toothache. 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 All right. So very good. All right. Let's see. Uh, estamos acá. So, all right. The answer starts over here. All right. I have a fever. Is you this should... it dolor de diente? Dolor de diente. O sea, dolor de muela. Okay. O sea, el nombre, creo que muela se, se tiene, otro, tiene otro nombre, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso es general, ¿verdad? Toothache, all right? So, pero podemos buscarlo, ¿verdad? Muela, ¿verdad? Quiere decir, what? Molar, all right? 
Molartic. Molartic. All right. So, entonces, muela, muela. Pero me duele el diente, me duele la muela. To take. Okay. So, y aquí sucesivamente tenemos más ejercicios. Si no terminamos, llega hasta el 24. Mire, tenemos acá. Oh, it hurts. It's terrible. My stomach, right? So, y aquí tiene más y lo contesta. Vamos a pasar a algo más rápido. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Creo que hicimos esto. Vamos a ver. Permítame. Creo que todavía tenemos tres minutitos. Regáleme tres minutitos. All right. Creo que ya lo vimos esto. All right. Let's see. What should I do? I got only one hour to study. What should I do? Who can tell me what you what should I do? Esa pregunta es suya. Anybody can answer that? I have got only one hour to study. I should practice more exercises, right? So remember, you need to create uh, scenarios in your and your mind. You need to make up your scenarios, right? So, de esa manera usted va a aprender rápido, ¿verdad? No se me queda así como que, Dios mío, ¿qué me está diciendo? ¿O qué dice acá? So, as long as you understand the question, or the, or the, yeah, the question or the sentence here, usted ya está hecho. La pregunta acá es, what should I do? ¿Qué debo hacer o qué debería hacer yo si solo tengo una hora para estudiar? Y usted viene ahí y me da tres, tres detalles así, ¿verdad? Al one, two, three. I should practice more. I should uh, I, I should sleep more than more than seven hours because solo dormimos cuatro tres horas, verdad? Todos, la mayoría que solo cuatro horas dormimos. Andamos mal dormidos, mal comidos. I should eat, you know, properly. All right. So another one. Are you following me, guys? Me están siguiendo? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. All right. What should I do? Hold on. What should I do? I like to run a marathon this year. What should I do? Three things, all right? What it comes to your mind? Así, rapidito. Usted tiene que pensar con el plan, plan A, plan B, plan C. Plan A, plan B, plan C. What, sh uh, what should I do if I like to run a marathon this year? ¿Qué haría usted, mi estimada Rosa Pleites? Si usted va a tener una maratón este año, ¿qué haría? I should. Three things. Dígame three things. But faster, faster, faster. Don't, don't, don't think too much. Tiene que trabajar eso rapidito. Oh, oh, what? What should I do if I have a marathon this year? ¿Qué haría, qué tendría que hacer yo para, si tengo una, si voy a tener una maratón en junio, vaya? Five, four, three, mm -hmm. two, one, boom. Joao, what should I do? I should, have... huh? I should... Eh, eh, eh. Ah, sure, pero maratón dice. Sí, sabes, sabes que, que una, no mar sabe oh, que una maratón. Sure. Yes. Eh, que una maratón, una, una carrera. To order, to order yeah. every day, for example. Very good, very good. I should train two hours I every day. Should, I should eat healthy, room. teacher. I should eat healthily. I very good. Eat Mm -hmm. I should sleep every night. <laughs> okay, so after, yo, yo, after the marathon. Okay, what will be your answer? Thank you, uh, mm -hmm. Rosie. I should. I should. I should. Once in a time. Once in a time. I should. Once, once in a time. Sleep. Yes, very good, very good, very good. Now, let me ask to Joao. Joao, go ahead. I should practice uh, more, sería la palabra. I should practice more, I should practice, I, I should work out. I should work I, out. I should, I should work out, I should eat. Um, healthy. Healthy. Very good. Salud, Pero saludable. es que tienen que dormir un día antes. Mm -hmm. All right, so just three things. Lo que yo les estoy, lo que les estoy tratando de hacer o que ustedes comprendan es que usted tiene que crear escenarios rápidos, ¿verdad? Esto no es para, para que usted, este, o sea, y no me, lo, no, no me malinterprete, ¿ok? Yo lo que quiero es que usted agarre las cosas rápido porque así le van a preguntar, ¿all right? So, imagínese, le dice el entrevistador, 
What should, okay, le hago una pregunta general a todas. What should I do if I hire you today? What should I do? No, what should I do in order to hire you today? ¿Qué debo hacer para contratarte hoy? Y usted se queda, Dios mío, y le está hablando este señor. Tiene que estar listo. Entonces, usted es el candidato. Usted me tiene que decir lo mejor de usted, ¿verdad? You should, you should hire me because you have the best prospect in front of you. You should hire me because you won't regret it because I do have experience. You should hire me because I need to feed my family. Tengo que darle comer a, 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 mis, a, mis, a mis hipotillos, ¿verdad? Entonces, todo eso. La última y nos vamos, ¿ok? Very good. What should I do? I am always late for school. Make up your, your scenarios. What should I do if I am always late for school? Solo uno, solo uno. No, no, no se peleen, solo uno. Pero vamos, five. I should go to sleep early? I should, I should. Okay, I should go to sleep early. Uh -huh. Otra, 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 vamos. I should I sleep less. Early. I should sleep uh, more than before. Yes, okay, another one. I should wake up early. I should wake up early. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, you see? Para que nos vayamos tranquilos y entendidos, yo sé que tenemos algunas ideas y queremos pasar otra hora aquí, pero tenemos que irnos a... I should make a shower. Correct. Okay, para que entendamos bien a uh, mis niños, mis niñas, acuérdense que el tema que estamos desarrollando so far... Estamos hablando de temas, de subtopics, pero estamos aplicando el should y el shouldn't. ¿Por qué estamos dándole vuelta a muchas cosas? Es porque usted lo tiene que aplicar de diversas maneras. Y de diversas maneras contestarlo y preguntarlo, ¿ok? So, let's stop here. I see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I understand that we don't have enough time. All right. So, we should have, you see, you see? We should we should have another hour together, all right? But we cannot. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I see you tomorrow. Have a see wonderful, you tomorrow, have a wonderful you rest you of the night. Okay. Bye. 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 Take it easy. Take it easy, guys. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks. Thank you.